Hey everyone, this is Daryl, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to calibrate your force to use two tools at one time. That could be if you want to do a score and cut, emboss and cut, um, draw and cut, anything like that. We're in section 5.02 of the manual if you want to follow along, but to get started, just open up a web browser and launch C3. And once C3 is open, click Settings and then Machine Settings. Oh, and just to point out, I'm using millimeters. Now, in the manual, there are some default offsets that Sandy recommends for the embossing tool, so let's get those in there. That's negative 1.8 and 2.0, again, in millimeters. So once those are input, let's click Apply Changes and then go back to the cutting screen. Now, in the basic shape zip file, there's a file in there that we're going to use for the calibration called alignmentcalibration.svg. So load that. Great, now let's get the embossing tool in there. We can start by clicking Replace Right Tool. Make sure there's nothing in the tool holder and click Continue. And remember for accessory tools, you wanna to set the Z origin on top of the material and not on the mat like you do for a blade. All right, that's screwed in there nice and tight. Let's click Continue. And then we can start entering in our cut settings. Now, all of my defaults are okay for the cardstock I'm using, but I do need to set my blade offset to red. Let's click over to layer 2. This is going to be the settings for the right-hand side. And I'm just using the suggested settings for the embossing tool on the cardstock, the Nina 65-pound cardstock. You don't need a blade offset, but you do need to be sure to switch cutting tool to right. And then click Prepare Cutting Job. Set your origin, so make sure you're doing all of this on your paper. And click continue and the first thing it's going to do is cut the cross with the blade and then it's going to switch over to the right hand side tool and start uh, drawing score lines over that and what we're looking for is how well the two are aligned if the cut line is in the center uh, of the score lines and it looks like on here my score line is a little too high it looks fine in the center so it's too high so we need to decrease y so let's go back into settings and machine settings and just take a little bit off a of Y. Let's try 1.8. All right, click apply changes and back to the cut screen. Now all of our cut settings should still be the same. So all we have to do is go and scroll to the bottom and click prepare this cutting job. Let's set a new origin, moving it farther to the left so we don't overlap our cuts and click continue. We're going to cut the cross again, and then score it, and then let's take a look at our results and see if they're aligned any better this time. And if you have to, go back in and make adjustments in machine settings, but it looks like we're great this time. The cut line is centered in the score line, and it looks perfect. So you're done. Now you have to do this for any tool that you use in the right-hand side. So if you use a marker or something like that, just follow the same process, draw the cross, and log your results so you can re-enter them uh, whenever you use that tool again. That's it. Hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, just reach out and I'll be happy to help.